so many memories to keep in Delta. Into the heart and the mind. Our children are growing so quickly. There's nothing that can stop. Not that we'd wanted to. Here's the little unit that we put into the girls' room before the call was born. There's not really room for another dresser, so we cut out a portion of the wall and put that unit right into the wall. shelf up there. We put up before Nicole was born. Just trying to make room. There's a doll that Emma got for Christmas in 1989. Her grandma Sewell. There's a doll that grandma Sewell made when she was a baby. striped outfit as a doll that Grandma Frost made for Emma when she was a baby. That little dog was from the Hepworths for Christmas. Or for her birthday when she turned two, I guess. The little dog was from Grandma Middleman and the butterfly Grandma Frost made for her. The next doll over is a doll that her great-grandma Sue gave to her. And the blue doll Aunt Chris made for her three or four years ago. It's Christmas. And that little bear, Zira Superstar, and that was from Grandma Frost when Emma was a baby, and the bunny was from Grandma Frost for Easter. The little clown was from Grandma Middleman. Was in a high chair that Grandpa made. That was for Christmas in 1988, I think. But lots of fun memories. And the Christmas bear. Actually, it's Larry's Christmas bear. I don't know why it's in here. There's a little memento from Japan, one of the Japanese girls brought. Guess while we're going through this, may as well go do the rest of this down here. Here are dolls that Emma and Nicole got for Christmas in 1990 from Grandma and Grandpa Sewell. The little koala bear was what Nicole's daddy chose for her for her first birthday. It's a wind-up toy. It plays waltzing Matilda. Here's Scruffy. That was from Santa Claus to Emma. Two little white bears in the background are Nicole's that she got for Christmas. We'll sign off and head into the boys' room. One last picture of this angel. boys room and I think it's cute. Here's a little sign that says let Emma in. I don't know who made it but anyway that's what it says. Let Emma in. And here are the cupids that Alan wanted to do on the computer. All of the kids like to do print shop on the computer. Okay.
she's pretty excited about life. He started preschool this last week on Tuesday, and it wasn't at the Orange Preschool that he's had in his imagination. Well, not totally in his imagination. Larry and Alan went to the neighborhood center that's just down around the corner from us. It's orange. And that's where Ian's preschool has been that he's had in his mind for the last six months or so. He's going to preschool up at the Lions Center and he was disappointed at first because it wasn't his orange preschool that he's enjoying it. He works hard and he plays hard. And this is up above Ian's bed. Right there is this little bear with cruel embroidery. I made that for Ian when he was one. It says, this bears my love to you. And then next to that, you can't really read it on the video, but it says, a baby is love, and that was for Alan when he was a baby. There's a picture of the Savior. I try to remember his love for children, how he always welcomed them. And I wish that I would remember it more fully each day. Sometimes in the hub of the day, the activities and the demands, I get short of patience. And I'm sorry for those times. I like to be patient with the children. And remember how Jesus treated the children. I can't get the camera to focus on the temple. There's a temple. All the books that the kids have. I love to read all five of them. Up here in the top bunk is Larry. Before we go to Alan, I had to show this little sign. It's not going to focus either. But it says, Ian can come on my bed. And over at Ian's bed, there's a sign too. You can kind of see the outline of it. And it says, Alan, oh, there we go. Alan can come on Ian's bed. I think Alan made that for go right there. Alan made all of these, I think. But, uh, let's see if we can get Alan's sign. Where's Alan's head? I don't know that there's enough light for this boy. This guy has every prayer answered that he ever prays. Because every prayer he prays, he says, Heavenly Father, please help us have a good time. And that's... That, his, that is his goal every day, and he is successful in accomplishing it. He brings a lot of spark and life to, to our home. Here's, here's his sign. It gets a little ripped up being down here on the bottom bunk, but it says, uh, Larry can come on my bed. Okay. 
Under the beds are trains and air hockey, emergency backpacks. And I could get real teary-eyed thinking about how, how much I love my family and how much Conrad means to me and to our kids. They all love when he comes home, so do I. sure times when our home is heaven. We love each one of these children very much. Seems like I have about another hour and a half or so work to do after everybody's asleep. Yeah. Well, since we're doing shots around the house, here's Tomoko. She was with us in February of 89. I had a lot of fun with her. This is our little corner of Japanese memorabilia. We've enjoyed having the Japanese students come into our home. They stay for two to three weeks, sometimes four, and we've, we've been having a student regularly since, well, since April of 88. We've had about seven or eight students. They keep in touch with us since the girls were here. We can remember. But each of us is a child of God and then live accordingly. Life will be life will be good. I don't know, there's not much more that this will reach. And I'm going to go write in my journal for a while. So, till then. Sometime later, I don't know when. Sometime later. Not while we're thinking about it. This, this here. how much of that was just recorded. We'll try again. Today is February 21st, 1991. This isn't focused right now. Ian! What? Say hi! 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 What have you got in your hand? What is it? Wait, now I can't see you. Where are you? Here are the rabbits. Where's the bunny rabbit? Here's Fido. Twitching his nose at us here. I had a 
focus this thing. There's Ian. You can check on Cutie. What is it? Orange. An orange. There's bugs. There's bugs. I don't know how to operate this. Another hour and a half or so work to do after everybody's asleep. But, well, since we're doing shots around the house, here's Tomoko. She was with us in February of 89. I had a lot of fun with her. This is our little corner of Japanese memorabilia. We've enjoyed having the Japanese students come into our home. They stay for two to three weeks, sometimes four, and we've, we've been having a student regularly since Well, since April of 88, we've had about seven or eight students. They keep in touch with us since the girls were here. They can remember. But each of us is a child of God and then live accordingly. Life will be, life will be good. Um, I don't know, there's not much more that this will reach. And I'm gonna go write in my journal for a while. So, till then. Sometime later, I don't know when, but sometime later. Not while we're thinking about it. This, this here. Here we are, this is March 2nd, 1991, and what we've got here is a scene out in the backyard. They don't really know what they're doing, making some kind of a concoction that Emma is engineering. Emma, Nicole is enjoying the recent rainstorm. They're going over here to the wheelbarrow to get their water. happy to be outside. It's been raining the last three days and we need it. There's Nicole again. She's going to try and fix the swing.
She likes to do everything everybody else does, you know. some muddy water instead. telling what's being created up there. This little girl's Amber. She lives down the street. Yeah, we built this playhouse a couple years ago. It was summer of 89. Cowboy outfit's been around since Larry was three. I'm sure there's something wonderful being fixed for lunch up there. Pretty soggy around here. Look at this. There's the bird feeder. Oh, Nicole found another puddle. She's having a lot of fun with those buckles. The rabbits. We did have a peach tree right up there where the kids are, but Conrad took it down two or three weeks ago. It was full of wood boars. I imagine this activity is going to last until they're called off of it. Getting close to lunchtime, so they'll get hungry and want to come in. Conrad's changing the wheels, uh, rotating the tires on the van. He and the boys are going to go to Arizona next weekend. Conrad and Larry will go down to Mexico to go scuba diving and. Ian and Alan will be left in Tempe with Grandma and Grandpa Frost, or Grandma Frost. Um, oh, right behind us, that's the Holloway's house. They're good friends of ours. They're in the ward. So we've got this gate right here. It goes through to their yard. The kids can go back and forth to play. They moved to Cucamonga about six months before we did. So, I thought I'd do it. I'm going to turn this off for a while. Maybe I'll pick it up later. Well, here comes our puddle stomper. But she avoided it, and I'm surprised. Go play in the wheelbarrow. Wash your hands. So 
how goes the Saturday afternoon, Saturday late morning at the Frost House? Emma, tell me what you're doing. Talk louder. Are we having fun now? Okay, keep going, Ian. done it. 